Hey there, my Tyler Perry sisters, fans. It's your girl, Barbie J here. And this brief video will be about the trailer and breakdown, preview breakdown of episode 20, Inside and Out. And part of the synopsis for this one is Karen chooses to tell Zach how she genuinely feels. Yeah. Anyway, and um, I'm nicknaming it the women who bring Zach drama. <laughs> the women who bring Zach drama, meaning Karen and Tony, the senator's wife. That is the white woman who gave Zach the stock tip, okay, for those who don't know. Let me pull this down, so I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, anyway, so... Let's get started. Wait, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, take a moment right now, hit that subscribe button, then hit the notification bell. It'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Then I ask that you smash the like button, write a comment, and share the video. Now, we get that out the way. It starts off with Tony. Tony wants Zach to come over to the hotel. I don't know if it's the hotel they met at before. I don't know where it is. She's calling him on the phone. Have no idea how she has his number, why she still has his number. But then again, it's probably only been a month since he talked to her. Probably less. Who knows? But anywho, um, she wants Zach. And Zach, you see him making faces like, damn, because now he knows who it is because she said, you know, there are many people that he helped at the airport who made him rich. So she's been watching the stock, but how does she know? Is the stock in his name? How does she know who's getting what? Who's making more money? How he's making money? She only met him that time in the airport. So I don't know how she knows to follow him and that he's been making money, but I guess she and her husband didn't separate yet or divorce yet. And, and she still has some kind of way of finding out stuff and looking in his notes. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with something to get an understanding because you know how TP is with throwing things out and we don't know how in the world, like how in the world Hayden was able to spot Zach and the ten uh, senator's wife, Tony, talking out of all the footage in the airport. He was able to find it in one day, one day. Hmm. Anyway, make it make sense. Okay. So she wants Zach to come there. And Zach tells Fatima, when I guess when she gets back to his house, she tells him, and she's like, this is bad. And he's like, dang, man, he doesn't know what to do. And I'm sitting there going, does anyone else, is it just me who thinks that maybe, possibly, Tony going to try to blackmail him? Is she going to try to blackmail Zach? But would it make sense for her? Because wouldn't she be bringing drama and problems to herself? Um... Wouldn't she? I, I I think so. You know, because if you um if you remember that um what is it season three? I forgot which episode it was, but um Zach was at the airport, and he asked Tony this. Uh, is this legal <laughs> for you? Yes, but not for me. Put as much money as you can on the stock. See, it's called Bolognese. He asked her. And Tony was like, she would be the one getting in trouble. It's not illegal for him, but it's illegal for her. Right? So I'm trying to figure out why she contacted him. Is she going to try to collect some type of fee or commission for giving him that tip? That was a tip she gave him. She, there was no, there was nothing uh, between them saying, I'll give you this tip. If you'll do this for me, because she had that $50,000 that she wanted him to invest for her and then take part of it off the top or whatever it was she wanted him to do. There was nothing. She The only reason she invited Zach back to the hotel was because Zach kept asking questions. He was asking, well, how does this work? What do I have to do? And she's like, I know you don't know me. You could come to the hotel and I'll walk you through it. So she had to explain and he started looking up stuff on his own. So there was no, there was nothing saying that she's supposed to, that if he used that stock tip that she gave, that he owed her any kind of money, any kind of compensation or anything. So I'm just saying, 
But my next question, does anybody think Hayden had anything to do with this? My thought? No. I don't think Hayden had anything to do with it. I think Tony just was watching the stocks and, and watching and paying attention. And maybe she did get somebody to put a little money down on it or something. Maybe she did. I don't know. And she's paying attention to who else is in the stock or making money off of it. Because I don't think Hayden had anything to do with it. Hayden might be a, an attorney and have connections. But I would think a senator's wife has more power and more connections than him. I mean, am I wrong? Y'all let me know down in the comment section. I, I don't think, um, I don't think he would try to, I mean, for Hayden to expose Zach, he would have to expose Tony and there would definitely be an issue. There would definitely be an issue and Tony could probably just get rid of Zach. I mean, Hayden, like, you know, have somebody take care of his crazy behind. I'm just saying, I'm not promoting violence, but I'm just saying. Anyway, that's what I think about that. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comment section. But Karen, Karen, the other drama. Karen, didn't Karen sit there and tell Sabrina in that salon that she is done with embarrassing herself or making a fool out of herself? Didn't she say it, y'all? Maybe it's me. But I know one thing, I'm getting tired of Tyler Perry making Karen out to be a desperate woman. When we started watching this show, there were four strong black women and Karen seemed to be one of the strongest of them all. Now he got her seeming so desperate that, I mean, if she's talking so bad about Zach and have so much negative stuff to say, that's why he's this and that's why he's that. Why are you trying to get him back? Why? So here we are. They show us the scene. She's on the phone with Andy. And Andy's like, are you sitting in front of Zach's house? And she's like, what if I am? <laughs> girl, she's like, girl, what is wrong with you? Haven't we been through this? And then they show Karen walking up the, the walkway. Talking about, we gonna talk about this baby. Uh, uh, whose baby is it, Karen? Karen don't know who baby it is. What baby you talking about, Karen? You don't know if it's Zach's or Aaron's. And how many of y'all out there think that she will or she won't? That she will or, or won't she tell uh, Zach the truth? I think she won't. She won't tell Zach that, that it's a possibility that's Aaron's baby. She gonna make Zach believe it's his baby. I don't know what mental state she's in right now, but it is far, far gone that she is thinking to go up there and tell Zach uh, talk about, we're going to talk about this baby. And then she had to make a fool of herself because she's sitting there going, I miss you. That's right. I love you. I said it. I love you. And he's like, it's over, Karen. I'm in love with Fatima. I'm like, damn, girl. you the guy. Here you go. Pick up your face. Come on. Pick it up. Put it back on. Pick it up. Pick all of it up. Pick, put it back on, Karen. Move your glasses. Come on. Put your face back together. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that she did that. TP, why are you writing Karen like that? Why are you writing Karen like that? So, that's my thought. I don't know what's going on. But I, I, I think Fatima left. Because there's a scene. I, they show her in the tub. But then I think, maybe she's upstairs. Maybe she knows Karen's at the door. And she's like, Zach, handle your business. Because that's how Fatima roll. Fatima, like, you deal with that mess. I ain't got nothing to do with it. And she's cool like that. That's why one of the things I love about Fatima. She's like, she's never there. She steps aside. She's not in Zach's business. The only time I saw her in something is like when they were showing the, the, the stock tips. I was surprised that he was sharing that. But Zach says everything now and does everything in front of her. So there's no secrets. And that's what I'm like. He is growing. He is maturing. And I am loving that side of him. So y'all let me know. That's all I have to say about these two women who bring in Zach drama. Y'all let me know your thoughts and feelings if y'all want to add anything to it. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. This is your girl Barbie J saying peace.